the energy has shifted this month we've gone into another vibration we have gone we've gone into another vibration and you know i just mentioned that my wi-fi has been playing up since the beginning of june so i did a yogananda transmission which was just a high frequency and i knew that the energy was shifting because the work i'm doing from now onwards shifts into a whole nother vibration and uh since then my wi-fi has been playing up and i'm using hotspot for all my sessions so the engineers are out there you know working on it um and this is a metaphor for what we're going through uh we have been operating on a third dimensional level fourth dimension so you imagine that you've only had part of your sockets plugged in your dna is 12 strands and you've had three strands plugged in so you've had a very limited experience of your life and limited experiencing duality limitation lack restriction you know the polarities of emotions as the vibration is now increasing on planet earth we are plugging back the sockets of 4 and 5d which means we are completely shifting into a whole different reality which means we are dying the old us the old 3d version of us is dying the 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 identity is dying away <laughs> and Brit smiling the identity my identity also died uh, recently i uh, came through the eclipse tunnel and it's completely the old self was released we are shifting into a lighter version of ourselves so we are having to release the density that we've carried the limitations the beliefs the patterns uh, the programs the ancestral wounds the the karmic wounds everything is being released so these are the most powerful years of healing for us as souls on planet earth we've come to do this work here we've come to do this work to shift the vibration we are the courageous ones who chose to come in to break the cycles and stop it from continuing on to humanity so what we're doing is very beautiful it takes a lot of courage <laughs> a lot of courage to break those old patterns but we have the support from the higher realms and we have the support around with from humanity some new light workers doing their beautiful work on on the planet we are alchemizing so you know i've talked about this before we're going from a seventh chakra human being to a 12th chakra uh, awakened multi-dimensional multi-faceted uh, multi-sensory soul soul and higher self so you're shifting into your higher self now from now onwards your higher self is guiding you your soul is guiding you so the human self is having to step away using the mind we cannot use the mind we use for logic but we do not navigate our life with our mind anymore it's from the heart and it's from our intuition so intuition is going to be really strong now you guide your we are going into a space where there's no more map there's no map and we are working being present ebb and flow like mother earth ebb and flow and we are moving into this new vibration moment by moment step by step total presence uh, total listening feeling sensing with our sensory body so our expanded self and sometimes we forget that we are consciousness having an experience in the human vessel we are consciousness in a human vessel and not the other way around and it's very easy to get caught in the the human having a, a spiritual experience we are consciousness so this is where we become awareness and we become the observer of our body, our human self, our identity, our personality, our beliefs, our thought patterns. We are processing and observing it all. And as you become the observer, you start to break down the patterns that you've carried for so long. Thoughts, you know, reprogramming the thoughts every day. Beliefs, beliefs are illusions. Beliefs, uh, you can tune them to a higher vibration. What the guides say now is that it's time to stop getting so attached to our stories and sitting in our stories because that's when you go into suffering. You will remain in suffering if you keep dwelling on the story and, and the pain that it caused you. They're asking you to turn around and face forward and start to create the vision of the new world that you want to live in. So where you are recalibrating every day into joy recalibrating into presence recalibrating into peace and harmony in your body so the way you tune into energy is through frequency and vibration uh, energy and recalibration is really important on a daily basis some form of meditation some form of walking in nature 
um, breath work or yoga, anything that gets you back to your center. Yeah, so recalibration every day because this is the only moment that exists. Everything and nothing else exists. This moment exists. So you are creating your future from this moment. Watch your breath. And women have these huge reserves of magic uh, and creativity in their soul and they're being called to tap into that and not just get caught up in the human self, how they look, you know, how they're perceived by others, uh, people pleasing and uh, hiding their light behind others. That is no more for women. Women are called, being called to step up. Uh, embrace their divinity, embrace their innate power and rise, rise on the planet. Remember their true nature, which is like nature. So through this time, it's important to ebb and flow with the energies uh, to recalibrate every day. And if you're having a down day, be present with your emotions. Don't judge them. Don't try and push them down. Don't try and fix yourself. But just be present and allow the waves to move through you. Ebb and flow, ebb and flow. Yeah. We are moving beyond control as well, so letting go of control and learning to surrender. And this is a big thing that we have been dealing with, with in third dimension, it's all about control, expectation, using the mind to make things happen. But now there's like, you can't control situations. You tune in, you listen to you with your intuition, you guide with your heart, you follow your heart. Um, so letting go of control is really important in this next phase. You are starting to learn to use your soul gifts. So the soul is coming online and so is the higher self. Now going forward, it is the higher self and the soul that are navigating this next journey, this next chapter. So we are going into the next space, the next vibration. Fifth dimensional consciousness is all about love, uh, freedom, flow, balance, uh, equality, abundance and um, joy these are the energies that we're going into so we have to choose every day are we going to suffer or are we going to switch our energy and experience joy because the happiness is in our hands we can stay in the state of just depression and feeling low or we can turn our energy switch our and dial up remembering that we are electric beings we are light beings and we can recalibrate with energy work, with music, with sound, with walking, with some tool to shift our energy into another vibration so that we are continue to keep rising and vibrating higher. Through this time, we continue to rise. We continue to rise because we are moving to a whole new vibration. And the way you'll pick up the higher frequencies and energies is with your vibration. You are a radio. You are tuning into the universe. And the moment you're vibrating at a higher frequency, you will attract everything on that vibration. So it's really important that you try and calibrate higher uh, and get your energy balanced, peaceful, calm within you. Yeah. Uh, women, you know, I've talked about going through big, 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 big change, but they are the ones that now need to rise. And sometimes they get shown the scales and I see women coming, rising, but they need help. Women need help because they have wounds inside that they need to release from past life and from other lifetimes where they experience suppression and you know betrayal and abandonment and uh, judged for their gifts and these uh, self-image, body image, body dysphoria, all of this uh, that we have going on inside, these beliefs and these patterns, we are now being called to break it so that it doesn't pass on to future generations. So it is the feminine energy that is taking the world forward and anchoring this light on the planet. And a solar eclipse is a really powerful time. And you know, I, when I worked with Albert Einstein, he said that solar eclipses were amazing times. And he actually got a Nobel Prize, a Peace Prize, Nobel Prize for studying solar eclipses and seeing how the energy affects the stars and how it affects humanity. It is literally like a reset button. So things are going to be shifting in your lives. Big changes are going to be happening. You need to be present with yourselves and see what is playing out for you. If old beliefs or patterns come up for you, it's the universe is asking you to look at them again. Until you break the pattern, the situation will keep coming to you in another form. 
And this is a gift from the universe to help you break through the old patterns and the programs. If people trigger you, it's to look at why do you get triggered? Where is the wound? Where is this wound coming from? How can I release this? Yeah, so it's continuous work on ourselves through these next few years. But we are moving into that vibration of balance, equality, self-love, remembering that we are divine beings on the earth. And the way we use our senses is the heart, heart brain, the gut brain, and our intuition. These are our navigation tools now into this next vibration.